yeah, part of it is a community. You're actually inter, uh, interacting with people and you can hear real experiences rather than just reading a blog about case studies where you might not know everything about this particular case study they're sharing or the blog you're, you're reading might be outdated. So I think it's a good place to get different opinions, although that can be confusing for beginners too about who to listen to. I, I'm learning about new tools as well. Like, oh, this is a free tool that just came out that helps you with uh, search volume, you know. Like I wouldn't have known that unless I was like on Facebook learning about all these different things. Cool. So it sounds like I was just going to the wrong groups at the time. <laughs> Possible. Yeah. And and you you started the group and you you curate the members and stuff like that. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. You know, I'm there's a few groups I'm actively involved in, and if I don't like a particular group, I you know ignore it or leave. Okay. And then have you had any you know, interesting issues or stories with uh, members of the group where you're like, oh, you know what? I got to kick this person out or someone's oh, spamming. Yeah. Of my particular group. Yeah. Um, well, I, I vet people before they join. So they have to answer questions and then based on their answers, I accept them. Most of the time, 99% of the time they answer the questions like a normal person and not a spammer. <laughs> They'll get inside the group. So that's, a good way, like spam is reducing my group significantly. And then um, I've had some problem cases where people are being self-promotional, but they're pretending they're not. And they're, you can tell they're fishing for something. Yeah. 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 And I think, I mean, what, what do they do? They're like, Hey, just, um, I'm doing a survey. Just come over to my site or something like that. Or I don't want to spe mention anything specific because people will know who I'm talking about. And <laughs> <laughs> you tell me after we stop recording. Yeah. Was it me? Uh, <laughs> no, no not you. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, we can leave it at that. That's all right. So that's cool. And how many people are in your Facebook group, by the way? I think it's around 3,500, a little bit more than 3,500. That's great. It's not tens of thousands, but it's a pretty active group and we're very supportive. Very cool. And it's just mo mostly about affiliate marketing and display ads, niche sites in general. Yep, exactly. All right, cool. Well, do you have any uh, sort of final advice or knowledge you want to pass on before we tell people where they could find you? Yeah, I think with any online business, you have to find your own niche. And what I mean by that is, you know, find what works for you. I like reading, I like researching and writing and making blogs, but someone else who doesn't like that, niche websites probably won't work for them. So if you're first starting out, you know, I think it's really important that you find your own niche in online marketing Maybe for you, it's YouTube or becoming an influencer or something else. But I think people have to find out what makes them tick and then go from there. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot, Ben. Where can people find you? Yeah, I got my group. I'm on Facebook a lot, maybe more than I should be. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you're interested in, or have a question, just shoot me a message. I usually reply to most people. Oh, wow. That's pretty awesome. I, I usually don't reply to anyone. <laughs> yeah. In the last year or something recent, um, do you have any interesting purchases that have been very helpful or, you know, interesting? Believe it or not, I just got my first smartphone like a month ago. <laughs> I've been a flip phone user for many years and that thing just snapped in half, literally. Wow. What, uh, what kind of phone did you end up getting there? It's a Samsung, like A9. It's a cheaper model, only a few hundred bucks. But yeah, it's very convenient. Smartphones are. <laughs> you can, <laughs> wow. I'm sure everyone knows this already. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm thinking of switching back. So like they are great for certain things like GPS is amazing, but yeah, I think it's been a couple years. I've turned off like almost all notifications and I try to make my phone not ring. The only time it rings is like if it's my parents or my wife basically. So it's, uh, I don't know, man, be careful. They're going to suck you in. So yeah. Awesome. And well, then I can work okay. on my, yeah. Oh, I can work like on my, on my WordPress websites. I can pay my writers, like answer emails. It just makes me curious, like how much of, how much of my business I can run just from this little device. Like, you know, 80%. You could probably do, do a lot. Like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. And you, you talked about just some mistakes in general, as far as like doing the the first site on the barefoot lifestyle. Do you have any other like highlights, maybe something more recent as far as like my own marketing stuff? Yeah. 
besides selling my site, I don't have a whole lot going on other than working on my two other websites, one of which I just started at the beginning of this year. So I have close to 30 articles, which I'm pretty happy about so far. Oh, that brings me to something I completely forgot. So yeah. you you have that first site that you're in the process of selling and how much content was on there? I have about 100 articles on that first website. Okay, so nothing super huge. I mean, 100 is a lot, but not so many over the course of a few years. Yeah. All right, cool. And then the, the final thing I'll ask here is around earnings. I know, like me, you're not publishing like, detailed income reports like some of our friends out there but right. yeah can you give us an idea of the scope of revenue coming in last year in total i did about thirty thousand about the whole year and that mainly came from my one website all right cool so i'm kind of starting over now with my two other websites awesome in actually let's shift into that i didn't no, you were starting a brand new one. It's only a few months old now. You got 30 articles. So what's your sort of game plan for that one? And where do you expect the trajectory to be? Yeah, so I originally built this website to sell, but I'm actually enjoying it. So we'll see how it goes. That website is mostly outsourced content. And that website was actually created from a uh, challenge my buddy put together where we wanted to see if we could build a website in 90 days and start making money from it without any backlinks. So there's actually a separate group for that. And a few people have made money already doing this, but it takes, you know, six to nine months to fully rank a website. So it's, it's been quite challenging so far, I think. Yeah. So did you, so 90 days, is it up yet? Have you, are you going to hit? No, we have about a week left. Okay. We started January one. So, okay. It'll end next week. Gotcha. And will, will you have made any money? Not yet. No. Uh, okay. Yesterday, I had like the most organics at like seven a day, organic searches. All right. So it's starting to get up there a little bit. Getting close. It's a brand new site. You just have to wait it out and just trust the process when you're creating a new website. Yep. Totally. 